In this video, we'll compare Nginx and Apache HTTP server. We'll use Prometheus and Grafana to collect and visualize metrics. We'll get CPU usage and memory usage from the node exporter. As a backend, we'll use a simple app based on the Rust Axum framework for building HTTP and REST APIs. And to collect traffic, we'll use a native Prometheus Rust client for the framework. First of all, we'll create VPC and EC2 instances in AWS using Terraform. To install software and configure our reverse proxies, we'll use Ansible with dynamic inventory. In the first test, we'll forward plain HTTP requests to the backend. In the second test, we'll use HTTPS and upgrade our protocols in both proxies to HTTP2. As always, you can find up-to-date code in my GitHub repository. For example, if you want to deploy Prometheus to AWS and use EC2 tags to dynamically discover targets, you'll need to create instance profile and grant Amazon EC2 read-only access. Then, in the Prometheus, config, you can use EC2 labels instead of hardcoding IP addresses or hostnames. Now, to leverage Ansible dynamic inventory, first of all, you need to create inventory file and specify EC2 tags that you want to use. Then, you can automatically convert those tags to Ansible groups. In the Ansible playbook, you can use the following pattern. First is a tag, then the tag key and value. Always try to use dynamic configuration and do not hardcode any IP or hostnames anywhere. It will simplify your life in the long run. Unfortunately, Apache server does not support gRPC, so I limited tests only to HTTP. In Nginx, we use server name and proxy pass directives to forward requests. To secure our API, we can either obtain with certbot certificates from Let's Encrypt or we can generate self-signed CA and issue a couple of certificates for Nginx and Apache. Location directive stays the same. Also, keep in mind, by default, Nginx will use HTTP 1 protocol. You need to explicitly upgrade it to HTTP 2. Now, to generate self-signed certificates, you can use CFSSL. Since it's a self-signed certificate, we also need need to add our certificate authority to CA certificates and run update CA certificates command. In that way, you won't get a warning that it is a self-signed certificate. When we install Apache to use proxy mode and HTTPS, we need to explicitly enable a few Apache modules. To use Apache as a reverse proxy, use proxy pass and proxy directive and specify your backend servers. In my case, it's just one. To secure Apache server, you also need to provide certificates and enable HTTP2 protocol. In the first test, we slowly scale the load from one virtual user to 1000 during the 5 minute interval, then immediately increase it to 2000 and run it for another 5 minutes. Finally, just keep increasing the load till one of the servers fail. Now, to collect traffic, we create two separate endpoints in the Rust application and use Prometheus to record every single request and expose it at the slash metrics endpoint. Let's go ahead and run the first test for both Apache and Nginx proxy. I'm fully aware that you can tune each proxy to increase its performance, but in most cases people will run those servers with default settings. So I also use default settings in this test. You can notice that by the time we reach 450 requests per second, Apache starts to drop requests, even if it only uses 6% of the CPU. In this test, Nginx was able to handle almost 6000 requests per second compared to to Apache with 450 requests per second. Memory usage stays more or less flat and CPU usage for Nginx reaches around 70% max. If you decide to use Apache, make sure you learn all the configuration options and load test it because with default settings it's not very impressive but both of these proxies are written in the C programming language. So I expect similar performance in the best case scenario. Now let's run the second test with HTTPS. As you can expect with HTTPS proxy needs to terminate TLS with each request and create a new connection toward the backend, which will significantly increase CPU usage. In this test, again, Apache only handles around 450 requests per second, even if the CPU increased from 6 to 12%. And Nginx with HTTPS can only take care of 1500 requests per second. I use T3A small EC2 instance. Of course, if you use larger instance types, you can get more requests per second for Nginx. However, not so sure about Apache. I have plenty of other tests on my channel if you're interested. For example, Golang vs Node.js or Golang vs Rust and others. You can find them in the playlist. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.